Update, the House is now going to a second ballot for Speaker. Kevin McCarthy is hoping that he'll be able to muster additional support when Rep. Jim Jordan, R.O., who has been one of his critics, urged members to vote for him. But very quickly McCarthy's prospects were put in doubt again as Rep. Matt Gates, R. Raphael, rose to nominate Jordan, giving McCarthy's detractors a figure to rally around. Standing just a few feet away from McCarthy, Gates slammed him, characterizing him as someone who had sold himself in order to obtain the leadership post. In fact, even though Jordan gave a speech endorsing McCarthy and urging members to rally around him, Rep. Pete Aguilar, DCA, was admonished by the House clerk as he suggested that Jordan's speech was really to pump himself up for the top spot. Previously, Kevin McCarthy failed to secure a majority to become House Speaker, as the historic leadership vote headed to a second ballot for the first time in a century. Nineteen Republicans voted against McCarthy, the California Republican who has long dreamed of the speakership. What was surprising was not just that he fell short, but the number of those in his own party who cast their ballots against him. Democrats were united behind their choice, Rep. Hakeem Jeffries, DNY, who secured the most votes for Speaker, 212, even though the party no longer has the majority. But the next Speaker has to have secured a majority, not a plurality, of those present. News networks covered the roll call, one of the rare moments of genuine suspense on the floor, where the outcome is often preordained. McCarthy largely stared straight ahead and watched as the House clerk conducted the roll call, occasionally smiling at times. He got an ovation from a majority of fellow Republicans as he stood and announced his vote for himself, but it was still far short of what he needs. Based on the number of members present, 434, that would be 218 votes. Instead, McCarthy got 203. Rep. Andy Biggs, R. Oz, who also was nominated for Speaker, got 10 votes, while six members voted for Rep. Jim Jordan, R.O. Three other votes went to other GOP figures. The vote is critical not just for House leadership, but any business at all in the chamber. A Speaker has to be selected before new members are sworn in. As the hour-long roll call was conducted, Democrats seemed to relish in the moment. Members-elect were allowed to bring family members to the floor, including young children. Some were spotted playing in the aisle during the roll call. When any GOP member cast a vote against McCarthy, murmurs could be heard on the Democratic side. I vote for the current vote leader, Hakeem Jeffries, said Rep. Ruben Gallego. Diaz, to some applause. Some of McCarthy's supporters vowed to fight on. When she voted, Rep. Nicole Malliotakis, RNY, said, No matter how many times it takes, Kevin McCarthy, 